Wendy James Moore says he told the Prime Minister of his plans a few weeks ago, but it came as a shock to many people here to see another cabinet minister decide to walk away. On Stephen Harper's team, James Moore was one of the few big names left and a Conservative known to speak out. Mr. Moore. Like in 2005 when he voted against his party and in support of gay marriage. But after 15 years of being an MP, Moore suddenly announced today he won't run again. We've had some news about my son's health quite recently that have made me have to shift and focus and go home. Moore's two and a half year old Spencer has a rare bone disease. There are a lot of people uh, who can serve as the member of parliament for my riding, there are people who can be and do a fine job as industry minister, but only one person could be Spencer's dad, and that's me. And I just, I need to go home now. He's thought of as someone who could be the next leader of the Conservative Party, just like the guy who made a similar announcement three weeks ago, Justice Minister Peter McKay. But simply put, I love my family more. Also gone, Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird, who resigned in February. These are not only senior ministers, but they played important roles in uh, political campaigns. They're respected people, and so I think this will uh, have negative fallout for the Conservative Party. Harper lost a trusted voice in spring of 2014 with the resignation and then sudden death of Finance Minister Jim Flaherty. More recently, Cabinet Ministers Christian Paradis and Shelley Glover have said they won't run again. I think it is a, a normal turnover. I think uh, you've seen uh, that, but we've also seen that we've got tremendous bench, bench strength on this, uh, in this Conservative Party. As for more, he hasn't ruled out a return to politics. You never say never. I mean, I'm 39. I'm not, uh, I'm not old man Moore. A spokesman for Stephen Harper says the Prime Minister's office understands Moore's need to spend more time with his family. And Moore wants it clear that he's not leaving because he thinks his party is in trouble. He says he still has every confidence that Stephen Harper and the Conservatives will win the next election. Wendy? Thanks so much, Catherine.